Today in our 2007 center view, we'll be installing the Kurt hitch part number 13591. This is what our hitch will look like once it's installed. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is four and a half inches. From the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 14 inches. This will assist you with selecting accessories such as a drawbar, a bike rack, or cargo carrier. Now let's go ahead with installation. First, we'll go ahead and point out our attachment points. Our hitch will have a total of six attachment points. There'll be four in the side of the frame rail, two on each side, and two at the center of the bumper beam. The four frame fasteners will all be weld nuts in the frame by the manufacturer. Over time, these weld nuts will build up with rust, dust, dirt, and debris, become very difficult to install the new hardware. To clean out the weld nuts, we'll use some spray lubricant and a half inch nylon tube brush. Part number 814092. Then once we've thoroughly cleaned out the weld nuts, we'll take one of the new fasteners and thread it in to make sure it'll go nice and easily. Now in order to secure a hitch to the bumper beam, we'll need to install some hardware. We'll use the half inch carriage bolt and block and secure it with the half inch flange nut. To get our hardware into the frame, we'll use the half inch bolt leader provided with our install kit. We'll feed the bolt leader through the bumper beam and out the end, slide on our block and then thread on our carriage bolt, feed them into the bumper beam and pull them into position. Now with this side done, we'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the other side. Once we have both into position, we're now ready to go ahead and install the hitch. It's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you hold the hitch while you install these fasteners. To secure the hitch to the frame, we'll be using the new 12 millimeter bolt along with a conical tooth washer. The teeth of the washer will face the hitch. Now with all our attachment points in place, we're ready to go ahead and tighten them down. Next, we'll go ahead and torque your specifications as indicated in the instructions. And that'll complete our install of the Kurt Hitch part number 13591 on our 2007 Saturn View.